Now, right after the seminar held in Hanoi, Under Secretary of Commerce for International Trade Francisco Sanchez granted an exclusive interview for VTV International, in which he talks on the current progress of TTP negotiations as well as potentials for Vietnam-U.S. cooperation in the field of civil nuclear. Vietnam's preparation to the uh, negotiation to the talks and uh, for joining TPP, especially uh, in terms of the structural changes that Vietnam has to carry out uh, in conformity uh, with the TPP accession requirements. To have uh, provisions in it that we have not typically seen in other trade agreements. I believe that's going to be very beneficial not only to Vietnam and the United States, but all of the nations that are negotiating the TPP. And I, I think Vietnam has shown great vision in being a part of this 21st century agreement. And true, this will uh, require obligations on the part of Vietnam, but it will require obligations on the part of every country that is a party to this. Those obligations, however, bring many benefits. So what TPP assessment and implies to Vietnam business environment? Uh, there are currently 11 countries, of which Vietnam is one. Uh, and Japan, as you know, is uh, now looking at joining. The TPP countries have gone through consultations. Once Japan joins 12 countries, representing 40% of the world's GDP and nearly 33% of all trade in the world. That's an amazing opportunity for uh, Vietnam. U.S. and Vietnam are two countries negotiating the TPP agreement. So what do you think about the relationship between the two countries after the uh, successful um, negotiating TPP? I think the relationship between the United States and Vietnam has never been stronger. And I believe that the work together in the TPP has actually strengthened uh, the relationship between our two countries. It is hard work. We've been through 16 uh, trade rounds and we're making great progress in these rounds. I again congratulate Vietnam for its leadership uh, in these negotiations and I'm very confident that the, the countries that are negotiating will be able to complete this negotiation by the end of the year one of your purposes in the Vietnam trip this time is, has to do with the civil use of nuclear energy. What do you think about the Vietnam-U.S. cooperation prospect in the era in the future? Well, there's been cooperation in the civil nuclear space for many years. And our trade mission here today uh, is going to build on that foundation. And we hope that we can uh, deepen that cooperation and work closer together, both our public sector, our, our regulatory agencies, our agencies that, that conduct research. So this is a great opportunity for the United States, which, which has great expertise in this field, to work closely with Vietnam to help Vietnam achieve its goals uh, in, in the energy space. Thank you again for joining us today.